This is the all new Fisker Ocean, Fisker's latest vehicle to arrive and this one is actually full electric. And I had a chance to view it in person at Fully Charged Live in San Diego. So here are my first impressions on this Fisker Ocean. Now let's get into the exterior of this Fisker Ocean. So a quick note is this is a pre-production model, so not everything that you see here will be 100% production ready by the time the Fisker comes out. But this exterior color is called Big Sur Blue. It is a matte color and it looks really great in person. I think this would probably be my choice if I were to go with an ocean. And then here on the side for the wheels, we do have the 22 inch F3 slipstream in black with kind of a carbon fiber accent. And I think it looks really good. It fills out the wheel well very, very nicely. You have your charge port here on the upper driver's side and you have really great accented door mirrors. And I love these door handles that light up. They're really cool. They are supposed to open, but this is a pre-production model. So I wasn't able to see that feature actually occur. Uh, this interior that you're looking at is called Mallet Blue. So this one is a blue and blue combination, which I really like that. There's a lot of companies like Fisker that are coming out with really nice color options for the interior here. And we'll get into the interior in more detail in a second. This one did have the California mode open, so all your windows go down. And I love that open air feel that they are going with with their concept. I love these taillights that kind of remind me of Jaguar-esque lights uh, and also Range Rover Vogue lights as well, but it, it looks so good from the back. Uh, lots of good cargo space right here. We weren't able to open up the trunk, uh, but at least I could kind of see into the back of that area there. But the back of the Fisker looks so good. I love the light up badge. It looks really nice. You have the ocean logo right there. But I really like these tail lights. I like how slim they look. They look very, very nice, very uh, elegant, very unique. Uh, on the Fisker, there's another light right here, kind of in the C to D area. You have a fully panoramic sunroof here on this particular trim of the ocean that we're looking at. There's your rear camera. And I kind of like that it says Fisker there on the top part of the spoiler. But this is the exterior of the ocean. It looks really, really great in person. So if you're trying to compare this to other vehicles within its class, think of, say, the Jaguar I-Pace, the Volkswagen ID4, the Ford Mustang Mach-E, and then also it is in between the Audi Q4 e-tron and full-size e-tron in Audi's lineup. So that's about the size range of this Fisker Ocean. So really great size, I think, and it's going to be really ready for this segment, I think. Uh, but I really like this Fisker. I love the different lighted accents that they have here on the mirrors for the turn signals. That looks really cool. This part of the vehicle I think is one of my favorites is the front. I love that it says ocean right there in the front and it has like an LED signature accent into it. You have amber turn signals right there at the bottom and you do have your radar sensor towards the bottom of that grill as well, but it looks so good. It has a really great presence on the road. And I really appreciate that about the ocean. Now let's get into a few tech specs and these are some of the highlights I'm gonna highlight about uh, for tech specs for the ocean. So you are gonna have your standard safety systems on board. You can, if you go up in trims, you can get things such as a 360 camera with 3D driver assist, lane change assist, and integrated driver assist. The Fisker will have its own mobile app and you can use phone as a key, which would be really great for the ocean. You can also control the climate, monitor the vehicle, and more. You can also park my car as an option where the ocean can autonomously park itself to either parallel or to the curb, which is going to be really cool to see. And lastly, one of my favorite features is called the power bank, which allows the battery on the ocean to serve as an emergency power source to your home and other equipment. Fisker does quote about seven days to run your entire home on a full charge of the Fisker Ocean battery pack. And now let's dive into the interior of the Fisker Ocean. So upon entry, these door handles will present themselves, but this is pre-production form, so I wasn't able to do that for this video. Once you hop into the Fisker Ocean, all the materials here, first of all, the seats are extremely comfortable. All the materials are very high quality for the class and for the price point. And I really like all the features that Fisker is including here, including the driver display, and then the revolve screen here on the center, which can actually rotate depending on which trim you go for. There's a lot of different color options for the interior. There's a lot of different options when it comes to the sound system, depending on the trim. And I'm really excited to get a chance to test this vehicle out in the future for the interior. 
And lastly, let's get into some specs here on the Fisker Ocean. Starting off with range, depending on which trim, you will get different range figures. So for the base sport trim, which is front wheel drive only, it is estimated for 250 miles of EV range. The Ultra is all wheel drive with about 340 miles of EV range. And then the Extreme and One trims top out are also all wheel drive with 350 miles of EV range. Now, there are different drive modes here for the Fisker Ocean as well, but it also depends on which trim you have in particular. So the drive modes are Earth, Fun, Hyper, and Smart Traction. Power is coming from a 80 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery pack. The base sport trim and front wheel drive will have 275 horsepower, and the top trims like the Extreme and the One will have 550 horsepower. You can tow with your Fisker Ocean, and it depends on which trim you get. So if you go for the sport front wheel drive, you're looking at 2,040 pounds. If you're towing with one of the all wheel drive configurations, you're looking at 4,000 pounds. Now I did compare this to other vehicles before in this video, and size wise, you are looking similar to say a Volkswagen ID4, Ford Mustang Mach-E, Audi, Q4 e-tron or the larger e-tron does sit in between those and also the Jaguar I-Pace. So I think it's going to be very competitive to where it sits. You can also compare it to a Model Y as well, for example. So it's going to fit very well into this class of vehicles in the EV range. And lastly, the warranty for the Fisker Ocean. So it does have a limited, limited warranty of six years and 60,000 miles. Both the powertrain and electrical, including the battery pack, is 10 years or 100,000 miles, whichever comes first. So I think if Fisker can mass produce like they are saying they can for the Fisker Ocean, I think it's going to be quite a home run. There were a lot of people in line waiting to check out the Fisker here at Fully Charged Live. And I say I am really excited here for the Fisker Ocean. I have seen Fisker's previous models like the Karma and the Rivero, but I'm very excited they're finally doing a full all-electric model. And I really think if they can make this as I saw it here, it's really going to be a home run for Fisker. So when they come into production, they're hoping for later this year into Q1 of 2023, definitely go check the Fisker Ocean out.